Alright, welcome back friends to another episode of Healing Together. My name is Adam, I go by Coach Hard Gains because that's the name of my coaching platform. I've been coaching bodybuilders and recovering addicts for well over 20 years. I've developed a systematic approach to replace a user's DOC, drug of choice, with an addiction to dopamine, to chasing a new goal, to chasing a fitness or physically oriented goal. Not just bodybuilding, not just fitness, but just something that you've always wanted. And that fills you with the dopamine that replaces the drug of choice. It's worked for hundreds of people at this point, including myself. Now, this is a very special episode. It's episode number one in our Quit Kratom With Me series. This is going to be good because I'm going to take you along with me on my protocol that I use for many of my clients and myself to either take a break from Kratom or even quit permanently or long term. Now, again, as I've said before, for me personally, this is subjective because of my severe daily pains. And Kratom is such a useful way for me to mitigate those pains. So when I get off, I usually get off for about a month and then I get back on. But I'm going to quit with you. We're going to do this together. I'm going to take you through the whole protocol, the whole series. This is very valuable information, guys and gals, so I hope that you stay tuned, stick with me, and pass this around. Because it's not just for Kratom, it's also really good for any kind of substance abuse, including pornography, including an addiction to lying. A lot of these are habits that we're going to build in our lives that make us prepared to leave our addiction behind and to cut the ball and chain off of our ankle and move forward in a new way to become the best versions of ourselves. And that's the goal. All right, so let's get into episode number one. Now, episode number one is essentially preparing to quit. It's not necessarily quitting. It takes preparation to quit permanently, to prepare our bodies and our minds and even our spirit and our soul to quit permanently because you guys know this is no easy task. There's a reason that all of us take whatever we're taking every day. There's a reason that we abuse it. There's a reason that we just can't live without it sometimes. And I know what that is. I know what that is for me. I know what that is for a lot of my clients, a lot of the people I work with. So the first thing that we're going to do is we have to figure out what that reason is for you. So for any of you watching, the first thing we're going to do is a little bit of mental work, okay? We're going to get a journal. I want you to get a journal. And within that journal, you are going to start keeping track of a few things. Here are some of my journals that I have handy. I keep a journal for every year. These are just a few of my past journals. And I keep them. I keep them around so that I can go back to them. I journal my Kratom use. I journal my medication use, my prescriptions. I journal how I'm feeling each day. I journal the changes in my feelings, the changes in my mentality. I am also on TRT, which is testosterone replacement therapy, which means that my body does not make hormones on its own because I have a brain injury that affected my pituitary gland. So I rely on exogenous hormones. So I take hormone therapy on a daily basis. So I keep track of that. I keep track of how I feel on that. I keep track of my bodybuilding progress. I keep track of everything. I'm not asking you to keep track of everything. That's a lot to just dive into. But the one thing I want you to start keeping track of today, as soon as you get this journal, is your Kratom use. That's the first thing. And if you take other prescriptions, journal that. Start writing down, okay, I woke up at 7 a.m. Two teaspoons of green mang da. Okay, four hours later, two teaspoons of red bali. My pain was increasing. Okay, start journaling 
what you are feeling after each different strain that you take. So journaling is going to help you in so many ways. It's going to help you realize how you feel from each strain of Kratom. It's going to realize how you feel from the doses. Sometimes when I take too much, I get the spins. You know what I mean? I feel a little nauseous. I can't really see straight. I get the wobbles. That's what some people call it. So I indicate that in my notes, okay? You're going to get a journal. This journal is going to help prepare for when we wean down, okay? When we start to decrease our doses. So I need you to start journaling. We're not going to change anything in the journal right away. I want you to have consistency. I want you to get used to journaling each day. It's not going to happen right away, guys. It took me a lot of attempts. <laughs> I have a lot of empty journals from years ago. Okay, I have been journaling for years since 2016. Okay, that is when I have consistently journaled. And that's a long time. But again, I've been on Kratom for over eight years. I've had serious spinal conditions for 15 years when my first injury occurred. Journaling is very important. Now, one of my clients that I work with, I'm not going to mention who he is. I hope he's seeing this video. I have asked him to start journaling recently. One of the other things that we need to work on in that journal is building ourselves up because many of us rely on substances to feel better about ourselves, about our situation in society, in our family, in a lot of things. And journaling can also help with building our self image. And this is really important to prepare to quit. We're not quitting today or tomorrow. Let's be clear. If you are following this series because you want to quit for good, this is a process and I'm asking you to stay with me because if you stick with me and do every step as I outline it, I guarantee you when you get to that day that you're ready to quit, you'll be praising the process and you'll quit. And you'll leave it behind for good if that's what's best for you. Now we've got our journal. We're going to start journaling and we're also going to start being kinder to ourselves. We're going to make mistakes, right? We're going to slip up. Many of us really relapse quite a bit. I know. I've been there. So we're going to work on being kinder to ourselves, okay? That's going to be a little different for each of us. So that's not going to be the same for everyone watching. For me, as a bodybuilder of 27 years, I've always been the skinny kid. When I started, I was 120 pounds at 5 foot 10. I was skin and bones, and although I actually had a lot of confidence in who I was, because I was raised in an environment of love, my mother, my adopted father, they filled me with love. They filled me with support. I felt good about who I was. I just didn't like being skinny to the point where I changed it. And that was healthy. But along with that came body dysmorphia. And I've had that body dysmorphia for over 27 years. It stays with me. I'm 43 years old, but I've been through so much. Spinal fusion, brain injury. In 2003, I lost everything. I went down to 120 pounds all over again. I was a successful musician and model. I was a touring artist. I was in a band called Small Town Hero. We had just opened up for Incubus and POD. And then all of a sudden, I lost everything. And I looked like that. I felt terrible about myself. I felt absolutely horrible about myself. And then the doctors gave me two months left to live and they said I was dying. And I felt, well, huh, I'm no good anyway. What am I worth? I had no value. I lost everything, including 
my self-image. So I had to build that back up. And obviously I'm still alive. Here I am. And I've been through a lot. I've gone through a lot of things. I'm not necessarily ready to share yet either. But I have experienced a lot of hardships in my life. Including just very recently. When I went through a very nasty divorce. From the mother of my six kids. And my kids are my world. They're my absolute everything. So we need to work on being kinder to ourselves, right? Giving ourselves that space to make mistakes. Forgiving ourselves and then loving who we are. So that's step two, okay? So now we've got step one which is you're going to go out and get a journal. And it can be anything. Some of my journals are calendars. Some of my journals are planners. Some of my journals are just notebooks. But I keep a daily log, okay? And if you have any questions about how to do that or what kind of format you should use, drop a line in the comment section and we'll discuss it. So step one, go get your journal, okay? You're going to start journaling your Kratom use. You're going to start journaling any other medications or prescriptions or substances that you're using. And I want you to be honest. This journal is just for you. You got to be honest, okay? Because being honest with ourselves is the most important part to be able to be honest with others, okay? So start being honest with yourself. Then step two is being kinder to yourself. Learning to love who we are. Okay? That's it. That's our first video. I need you to do that. When you've done that, I want you to drop a line in the comments section because this is something we're doing together. That's why we're healing together. And so many in our community are just ready, ready for this change. And I want you guys to hear from each other. That's the cool part, man. If you guys knew how many people reach out to me on a daily basis, it's wild. And I'm so grateful for all of you, okay? Remember, for coaching and consultations, drop a line to us on an email, coachhardgains at gmail.com. My assistant will get back to you, and please be forgiving to us. We are so overloaded with emails, DMs, and everything in between, okay? So it does take us a while to get to you. If you are in a situation of emergency or urgency, please put that in the subject line, and we'll try to get to you faster and you can actually line up a Zoom call with me on an emergency basis, okay? So next, I need you to please make sure you like this video to help in the algorithm. Put a comment in the comment section, and please subscribe to both channels, Healing Together and Coach Hard Gains. You can find me on Instagram at Coach Hard Gains with a Z and Team Hard Gains. I love hearing from all of you guys. I really do. I don't think that you understand that even though I'm the one on this side of the camera, so many of you make comments, send me videos that help me get through what I'm going through. Because remember, I'm going through the biggest hell of my entire life right now as we speak. And it involves my children. And so many of you make a comment, a simple comment, that gets me through a specific day, a specific moment. And I'm so grateful for all of you. All right, guys and gals, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one because part two will come out in about a week. I want to give you guys a lot of time to jump on this video. Please make a comment and let me know how you're doing. All right, friends, I'll catch you in the next video.